everybody. Good morning, good morning, or should I say good afternoon? Welcome to Loving It on Keto. We just pulled in and set up our camp. We are at Picasso State Peak Campground. And man, you guys, we had every kind of weather. We had a habu, which is a dirt storm and rain. There were several accidents on the way here. Um, it so took us a long time. To it took us a long time and it's cold and windy. Yep. You guys, we're coming into a habu, and it's raining and dusty, and traffic is horrible. Out here on I-10, going towards Tucson, is the area where you get habus, and the dust is just starting right here, and we're back to back going about, oh, what, five miles an hour, 10 miles an hour? Yeah. You can't really see it, you guys, but it's a wall up ahead, so. We are. really over, but... I agree. It's way over there. It's way over there. Yeah. It's almost like a living thing. It is. It like just goes... It's weird. It's like just kind of moves across the land. You know? It does. It really does. Yeah. It's just That's surreal. A small, it's a small one. It is, but look at that over there. So this is the second accident. We've gone through the Habu, but that's the second accident. We had a fender bender earlier. Oops, that didn't look too happy. And there's Picasso Peak, right where that white car is. And it's a funny looking, uh, funny looking thing, but that's where we're going, you guys. And it cleared up the rain. We got like the wind blew all the clouds right where we're at, but there's some pretty nasty black clouds in the area. Oh, yes, get indeed. There and set up. You got your Starbucks? Sally's just Sally's just kicking back in her little bed, but man, they could get some snow on these uh, peaks over here tonight. Yeah, we like to go where it's cold. Yeah, but it always weird reason. No, every time we come to Tucson lately, it's been weird rain. Let's not come to Tucson now. I know Tucson's that way where the black clouds are. That is Picacho. Where we're going. It's so pretty. And there's Rooster Cogburns Ostrich Ranch right next door. So we'll take pictures of everything, you guys, but I just wanted to share. Just wanted to share it. And there's these mountains these? right in front. Those are pecans. We have a bunch Good of hands. we have a bunch of pecan groves out here. Pecans grow very well. And it's in both sides of the road. Pecans grow very well. We don't have any rain right in through here, but you can see that we are going to have rain. Anyway, you guys, when we get there, I will share our campground with everybody. Okay, let's go. Picasso State Park. We're going in the gate. Sally's all excited.
RV. Keep going. There you go. behind us. Excited. Yep, this is Sally Excited. So this is the little, they have a little store in there. Pretty soon the flowers will start blooming on all the cacti. And the loop picnic ground area. And this is quite a big park as well. It closes, what is it, in July or yeah, June? It gets, too hot. it gets way too hot. But uh, because this is the time of the year to go camping. So, whoops, over the cattle, cattle guard. And like I said, this campground is full. Full, full, full. You guys, I'm gonna put this down. This is the bathroom, the restrooms, the showers are right there. This is loop B and we're right here. We're going to be right across from it. Yep. Here. Slow right. down. Go. Right here. You're going to have to come around because we're going to be we're on B21 which will be over here. So you're going to have to come around. No. We were on loop A right where that truck is and that camper right here. That's where we were before. B what? B4? No. B21. We're almost out the door. Okay. I like where this mountain is. This is really cool. We're back in sight, so B20. So that's 20, 19. You sure it's B21? Yes, it's B21 right there by the bathroom, like I said. Okay, here's our campsite, you guys. So we gotta back in. This is our campsite, so we're gonna back in. Yes, it is, but go ahead and share out our window. We got a campsite that not only has Arvita, but it's got a great place where you can pitch a tent. We've got our own picnic bench, fireplace. Yeah. There's a little trail right to the bathroom, which is nice because Paula and Al, if they get to come this weekend, uh, they tent camp. So that makes it very nice. And I'll open up this door so you can check out here. Got a nice campfire. This is a restroom, flush toilets with shower, which is super duper night. And that's Picasso Peak right there. So that's super duper nice. But, as you can see from my shack, it, it's cold out there. And Sally's over here, cuddled up. Take a picture yeah. of Miss Lil Sally. Yeah, she's in her chair already with her little blankie snuggling in, man. Yep, she's all set. Got the fireplace on. We've got the fireplace on 82 degrees because it was uh, 50 in here when we pulled up. I have got our oven preheating to 400 degrees. I want to cook enchiladas. I made beef enchiladas uh, as one of my uh, prep meals. Yes, I did. So it's right here. I think I want to tent this top so the cheese doesn't burn, but it doesn't stick to the top of the cheese, right? So I'm just going to do this. I'm hungry, man. I'm starving. We're both a little hangry. Yes. Trying to park Arvita, yes. Just a little hangry, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, you guys, it's going to be a cold night. What's and wrong with you? Go over this way. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. It's like... <laughs> I need a headset on. I know you do. <laughs> yeah. Craziness. Anyway, you guys, I'm very excited about being in Arvita and not in a tent because I can't tell you when we lived in Washington State how many times 
I would say 99% of the time we camped, it rained. Yep. Oh, it yeah. was cold, wet, and miserable. Matter of fact, it was so bad, we quit going on Memorial Day weekend. We got rained out every, every single, single time. time. Anyway, got my stove going. Got my uh, pizza stone in there to help. Now I'm wondering, will this fit on this? Because I don't want it, it to drip. Oh, look at there, you guys. I'm so excited. Aren't you supposed to put it on the stone? No. That's the, the bread. This oh. is just, to, I'm just leaving it in there. Now, how long should I let this cook? 30 minutes is not going to be long enough because it's in the refrigerator. But you know what? I'm going to check it at 30 minutes. Stop. She doesn't know how to use a timer. Well, well how come it won't let me Zero do says that? timer. Good job, Harry. No, good job. No, we just turned on the microwave. You better turn it off. You're going to have everything go nuts in there. Oh. Okay, you want the timer. Timer, not microwave. And I'm a blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys could tell me what movie that's from. Because mm. I'm a blonde. Yeah, yeah, You want yeah. a cookie. <laughs> I want to be a veterinarian. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Now do what? Tell me. Tell me how. Okay. Timer. Timer. 30. Start. Start. It's not starting. There you go. There. I was waiting for it to hit the right button. I was going to say it's that one right there. Okay. And no microwave. The microwave is not on, folks. It's not on. It's not on. I saved the pork rinds. You I it. saved the pork rinds. And I saved the shield of protection yeah. too. So this is gonna heat up our Vita nice and toasty. So I probably mm. could just turn off the fireplace. But I want to make sure it gets warm in here before I take this off. Because I've got on short sleeves. Yeah, I wore a t-shirt today and tennis shoes, and so did Harry. Anyway, you guys come back in the next segment. Oh. Where are they? I Where's mine? It. It's on you. Where? Oh, how'd you do that? Yeah. So oh, you guys, we had no mic. Harry's, Harry's fault. Cameraman, cameraman. Look at this. If that's not sour cream looking, yeah, I don't know what is. That. Only it tastes better than sour cream. Yeah. Ooh. You guys, I am so jazzed. I'm going to put some uh, salsa brava on it. Oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. Enchiladas in a bowl. <gasps> yeah. Can you see? Ooh. Yeah. Smells heavenly in here. Anyway, you guys, gotta eat now. You guys, look at the view. Can you see the view from there? It's absolutely beautiful. Kids can climb the rocks if they're not afraid of snakes, scorpions, and tarantulas in the summertime. <laughs> right now is the perfect time because the snakes are hibernating, thank heavens. Sure, go climb. Just watch out for the snakes and the scorpions. Scorpions and that. Well, remember Chad? Yeah. I kept saying, Chad, you cannot run all over the place in the desert and jump around and sit down on the rocks until you look at them. And sure enough, he didn't listen to me. Not 10 feet away, he went to sit down and I screamed at him because there was a tarantula standing up yeah, ready to bite him in the butt. Right. <laughs> it did. You want some Redmond season salt, dear? Yeah. Oh, you guys. Take a bite. Take a taste test. Mm. And. Oh, yeah. Good with the yogurt? Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, you guys. We've got to eat now. Sally's comfy cozy over here on the chair, but. We still have enchiladas left. And I only made six. We've got two enchiladas left. So I'm gonna cover this. I'm gonna have enchilada and eggs. Or make this tomorrow as yeah, part of a, really as really. part with our pork chops or something like that. But I'm excited because uh, that was absolutely amazingly super easy, super simple to make. If you guys want to see how I made those, go to this video here. 
I'm gonna let this cool off, but now I am super duper 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 excited because if this is gonna taste like I think it's gonna taste because of yesterday's yogurt, yesterday I made key lime pie yogurt. Today I'm making apple pie. Yes, I am. I just opened that up. I don't want it to fall. But I've got my yogurt, which I am in love with. I'm in love with this yogurt. I'm just going to give us each, and I don't have smaller bowls. But look how that comes out, you guys. It's, it's like ice cream. It's like the best cheesecake filling you've ever had in your life. That I've ever had in my life. It, it just it worked great it, on the, the dinner. Yes, it worked great as sour cream, didn't it? Yep. Because it was lighter than sour cream. It, yeah. There was no sourness to it. It's just absolutely heavenly. I can't see how much. Is that the same? Does it look, look the same? Look down on it. I know, but does it look the same to you? Yeah, it looks good. Does it look the same yeah, to you? Yeah, it looks the same. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Wendy's always afraid she's not going to get as much as me. Oh, right, right. I am. That's right. I, I am, I'm real afraid of that, you yeah, guys. Yeah. Now, I've got English, to oops, English toffee stevia. I'm going to make a little well in the middle here for all the goodness. I'm going to put about, mm, I think we put eight drops in yesterday. Something like that, yeah. I'm going to sprinkle cinnamon on this because we're making apple pie. Yes, we are. Cinnamon. We love cinnamon, so I'm just sprinkling cinnamon. You don't have to use cinnamon. You can use cardamom, whatever flavor seasoning, but I need a spoon, powdered spoon for this. I'm just going to get a couple of, oh, that's the wrong size spoon. What are you using? I'm using apple pie keto chow. And you guys, the sky's the limit because Keto Chow has over 30 flavors or more. Now, I don't want to get this. I'm going to have to put this right here because it'll, I got to close that up. And the sky's the limit on the flavor. Blueberry pie, ras chocolate, white chocolate, raspberry cheesecake. Look at this. So now what you do, you just go in and you stir this up. Stir all this deliciousness right up. God, it smells. Oh my gosh, it smells like yeah. Grandma's Kitchen making apple pie all day long. Yeah. Sorry my bowls are so big. I need to get smaller uh, plates tomorrow when we're out and about. Go to a grocery store and grab some of the smaller plates. But you guys, I'm very excited about this. And you're getting more protein because you're adding the keto chow to this. You could use, uh, if you didn't have keto chow, use perfect collagen. Your favorite flavor, the salted caramel, the cinnamon toast, the strawberry. You know, if you don't have perfect collagen and you don't have keto chow, use your favorite uh, high protein drops. drinks. You can use uh, Granberry uh, Farms, any flavor that he has. And believe me, he's got the flavors. Okay, you guys. Try it out. See it. Man, I'm ready. It smells just like apple pie a la mode. Well, it, it smells does. like it over here. Oh my gosh, this is even better than the key lime pie. That's apple pie. That's apple pie with ice cream on top. Really? It's like... Uh, oh my gosh, yes. Here, come here. Take take taste test. Ready? Smell it. Oh, wow, it really smells good off clothes. Mmm. Which one do you like better? This one. Isn't that delicious? Isn't mm. that just like apple pie? I mean, seriously. 
That is just like apple pie, you guys. Yeah, it's like having the filling. Of yes, of an apple pie with yeah. ice cream on it. That is Letting nuts. your ice cream melt on top, yeah. right, a la mode. Yeah. We used to have uh, apple pie a la mode. My mom had apple trees, and she would make Grabenstein. Um, That's nuts. Apple pie or apple Betty or apple cobbler and throw a scoop of ice cream or heavy cream on top. Ho, 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 yeah. You guys, it's so easy. It's so simple. And it is absolutely keto. Yeah, oh, man. There's so many ways. I this stuff all the time. Oh, my gosh. This is dessert. This is dessert for our OMAD. Yes, indeed. So, you guys, got to eat now. Dessert. Keto chow apple pie style. Yeah. The rain is here and it sounds funny in the RV. I grew up with a tin roof on our patio. We had corrugated uh, aluminum yeah. roof. Yep. This is a funky, what would you call it? Tinny, it's a weird, yeah. weird sound. Anyway, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up the day. We're gonna close out the video. We're gonna share our trip here. I shot some video. I already showed that. Well, okay. I, can I recap what yeah, we sure, did go today? Ahead. Go ahead, recap. He was being so bossy in the car, telling me how to shoot and everything else. So he's over here editing. Wow, you did a really good job. You had two hands on the camera. You did this, you did that. It's like, yes, dear. I've been married to you almost 40 years. <laughs> I learned how to use a camera. Yeah, I did. did, did a I did. Job. Woo! I learned how. I didn't even have to hardly do do it, any, any. No, work. but you sure were mouthy about what I needed to do. No, well, I wanted to make sure you. you no, know. honey, make sure you're pointing it at the mountain. No, no, make sure you're holding your camera with both hands. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. You guys think I'm bossy. You guys miss him. You guys don't see him at all. Anyway, you guys, Sally is all cuddled up. It's nice and warm in here, thank heavens. Those enchiladas were fabulous, super filling, and I cannot speak more about that yogurt. Yeah. Tasting like apple pie a la mode with just two tablespoons of apple pie keto chow, a little splash of cinnamon, and some English toffee stevia. Man, oh man. That's so good. That was oh. phenomenal. And you guys, like I said, the sky's the limit. Any flavor you want, you can have, basically. If you can get the flavoring, the drops, the protein powders, the keto chows, any of those things, make up your own. I, I want to try a chocolate peanut butter, man. I'm really Ooh, curious. Ooh, yeah. See what that'd be you like. You could make pork rind crust you with like cinnamon and sugar and make a pie with yeah. the yogurt and refrigerate it. Serve it to people yeah. and they and tell them it's your yogurt pie and they'd look at you like you were crazy because uh, it tastes just like cheesecake. I know, it's right? It's that good. Yes. Yeah. And healthy for you and keto too. Anyway, you guys, we're closing out the video for tonight. If you are new, if you have not done so already, please subscribe. Please remember to hit the like button. Subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. You guys, give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you right here in Arvido, in Macasio State Park, in Tucson's, and they're about tomorrow. Yes, indeed. Arvido. Arvida. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Good night, everybody. The excitement dog. Can you say good night? 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 Say good night. She said, no, if I no. have apple pie yogurt, I'm done. She did. Oh, she she loved. She heard you she, say it. She had apple pie uh -oh. yogurt and it was delicious. Yeah. Can you say good night? Guess not. Yeah, that's it, guys. This is all you're doing. <laughs> it was all a right. rough puppy day. Yeah, rough. Oh, there she goes. You're gonna say good night. What? <laughs> was that it? it? Is that it? Huh? Was that the good? Oh, oh there good it is. girl. There go. Good girl. Ha, ha, ha.